As the industry's most recognized brand in residential roofing, Owens Corning has applied its 75 years of building science technology to introduce the new DexSeal Self-Adhered Low Slope Roofing System. This self-adhered roofing system serves as a waterproofing solution for low slope applications on new residential roofing and re-roof jobs. The Owens Corning Deck Seal Roofing System offers numerous advantages over competitive low slope products, from its dual compound formula for durable performance to its granule free side and end laps for seam sealing. It's no surprise that areas of the home below 212 pitch can require special attention. These low slope roof areas, commonly found over garages, porches, additions, carports and sunrooms, typically don't have the drainage of a steep slope. As a result, harsh weather conditions like snow, ice, and rain can result in leaks. The new deck seal roofing system can be applied as either a two or a three ply system to provide excellent protection and versatility to mix and match components. In this video, you'll learn common practices for low slope residential applications, including why the Owens Corning deck seal roofing system is a preferred choice. The deck seal roofing system is a self-adhered mod bit technology, which is often preferred because it is an easy, clean application with no fumes, odors, or smoke. The innovative deck seal roofing system consists of up to three layers that serve as waterproofing for the field of the roof, flashings, perimeter terminations, and typical rooftop penetrations. The first layer is the mechanically attached base sheet called the Dexseal MA Nail Base. The second layer is the self-adhering base sheet called Dexseal SA Base Ply. And lastly, the cap sheet membrane on the top surface is known as the Dexseal SA SBS Cap. These three membranes can be used in different combinations to achieve a premium membrane assembly. Typically, a mechanically attached base sheet is used if a deck is unsuitable for a self-adhered base or if the customer wants to easily strip the deck if a future replacement is necessary. The Owens Corning Deck Seal Roofing System has several unique features. Its dual compound formulation provides excellent granule adhesion, while the back surface formula provides aggressive adhesion. Together, the two compounds offer enhanced adhesion, added durability, handling, and long-term performance that our customers expect. Another feature of the deck seal roofing system is the granule-free adhesive selvage on the side and end laps for quality seam sealing. Available in six popular colors, deck seal roofing system also streamlines your ability to color match and coordinate to the most popular shingle colors with today's homeowners. The deck seal roofing system is supported by the most recognized brand that homeowners know and trust. Taking a system sell approach with Owens Corning roofing products can help make closing the sale fast and easy. With proper preparation and installation best practices in place, installing the deck seal roofing system is fast and dependable. Recommended tools for installation of the deck seal roofing system include a 3 to 4 inch wide hand roller, heavy weighted linoleum or lawn roller for pressing the membrane in place, a paintbrush for application of primer, a trowel for applying adhesive, a caulk gun, a handheld hot air welding gun, a roofer's knife equipped with a hooked blade, and soft soled shoes. While different combinations of base plies can be used with the cap, what we're showing today is a three ply system which includes the nail base, the self adhered base, and the cap. Owens Corning Deck Seal Base Sheet should be used in conjunction with the Deck Seal SA SBS cap. Do not use Deck Seal Base Sheets in a torch down application. Remember when storing and handling the Deck Seal roofing system, store rolls upright on pallets in dry, well ventilated indoor areas. Do not store rolls on their sides. Protect rolls from exposure to elements including the heat, sun, cold, and moisture. Stage the project so that you are bringing the product to the rooftop just prior to use. Do not leave the base sheet exposed. Plan the work so you can apply the cap sheet to the exposed SA or MA base sheets the same day. Owens Corning Deck Seal Base Sheet should be stored at room temperature whenever possible. Do not store out of the box for prolonged periods or in temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Remember that safety should always be the primary consideration on any application. Owens Corning Roofing recommends following all OSHA safety regulations. Dexseal MA Nail Base is designed to be installed on roof slopes between 1 quarter 12 and 2 12 and is to be applied directly to the exterior grade plywood or OSB. Plywood must be a minimum of 15 32 inches and OSB a minimum of 7 16 inches. Check local building codes for specifics. All deck seal components should be applied only when the weather is dry and the ambient temperature is 45 degrees Fahrenheit and rising. Do not install when water in any form, such as rain, dew, ice, frost, or snow exists. All roof deck application areas must have positive drainage, continuous support, and be structurally sound to support the weight requirements of the roofing system. Ensure the installation of the deck seal base plies do not prevent or interfere with ventilation of the existing structure. Failure to follow manufacturer's application instructions may void the product warranty. When beginning installation, you must first sweep the roof surface to remove any dust, dirt, or debris. Second, cut the deck seal MA nail base to manageable lengths. Allow the cut sheets to relax prior to installation to help minimize wrinkles in the finished surface. When installing a three-ply or three-layer system, the base starter course will always be one-third of the roll width. Cutting on one of the 12-inch lay lines is approximately one-third of the roll. The side lap seams of any layer should always be offset from the other layers. Next, lay the material flat on the roof aligned with the eaves, or at the lowest point of the roof. Nail the starter course at six inch on center down the center of the sheet using one inch diameter metal cap nails. Do not nail along the edges at this time, only in the center. If additional pieces are needed to complete the starter course, continue to install the one third width piece for the three ply system at the lowest point overlapping the preceding lap by six inches. Install nails centered in the six inch end lap at six inches on center. After completion of the starter course installation, the next course will be lapped at a minimum 3 inches over the starter course and nails will be installed in the side lap at 6 inches on center. All courses except the starter course will require an additional two rows of nails at 6 inches on center, evenly spaced vertically and staggered down the center of the sheet. Now let's apply the self-adhered base ply. First, sweep the roof surface to remove any dust, dirt, or debris. Second, cut the deck seal SA base ply to manageable lengths. Allow the cut sheets to relax prior to installation. Third, cut the starter course of deck seal SA base ply to an approximate two-thirds sheet width. Cutting on the 12-inch lay line will leave approximately two-thirds of the roll width. Next, lay the material flat on the roof aligned with the eaves edge at the lowest point of the roof. Fold the aligned sheet back halfway, exposing the split release film. Peel the release film at a 45 degree angle in a constant motion while firmly holding the half of the sheet that is in contact with the roof as the liner is removed. Use hand or foot pressure to bond that portion of the sheet to the deck. If the split release liner remains on the opposite half of the sheet, flip the opposite half back and remove the remaining release liner. The side lap seams of any layer should always be offset from the other layers. Cut the top and bottom corners off the first starter course of the SA base ply, which will be overlapped at a 45 degree angle. Next, align the succeeding sheet, overlapping the preceding end lap by six inches. Cut a 45 degree angle at the top corner of the succeeding starter course. Remove the release liner and adhere as done with the preceding sheet. Roll the end laps firmly with a hand roller. It is best practice to roll the entire course with an 80 pound linoleum roller to remove any trapped air. Install the roof flange of the edge metal over the base sheet at the lowest point of the roof. Nail the edge metal four inches on center in a staggered pattern. The edge metal must be 24 inch gauge galvanized steel or .04 inch formed aluminum with the top surface primed with either an asphaltic primer that meets ASTM D41 
or a commercially available water-based acrylic primer. The roof flange of the edge metal should be 3 to 4 inches wide. Primed edge metal must be dry to the touch before membrane application. Install a minimum 8 inch wide strip of Dexseal SA base ply over the edge metal, leaving 1 half inch of the edge metal exposed at the eaves. As with every layer, sweep the roof surface to remove any dust, dirt, or debris, making sure the surface is clean and dry. Dexseal SA SBS cap is to be applied directly to the Dexseal MA nail base or Dexseal SA base ply. First, cut the Dexseal SA SBS cap to manageable lengths for the conditions. Allow the cut sheets to relax prior to installation. The Dexseal SA SBS cap has a release film covering the salvage edge. Next, lay the material flat on the roof aligned with the eaves edge at the lowest point of the roof. Fold the aligned sheet in half exposing the split release film. Peel the release film at a 45 degree angle in a constant motion while firmly holding the half of the sheet that is in contact with the roof as the liner is removed. Now roll the opposite half of the sheet back and remove the release liner using the same method as in the previous step. If additional pieces are needed to complete the starter course, the end lap to be overlap must be cut at 45 degree angles on the top and bottom corners. The top corner of the piece that is overlapping the previous piece must also be cut on the top corner at a 45 degree angle. The overlap is to be 6 inches. The end of each roll of Dexseal SA SBS cap has a factory end lap salvage edge covered with a release film. Remove the end lap release film and press the overlapping sheet into place. Where there is no factory salvage edge for end laps, the following methods can be used. Hot air welding. The area between the granular surface and self-adhesive backing can be heated with a hot air welding tool and rolled with a hand roller. This will ensure a watertight seal to the end laps. Modified roofing cement. In lieu of hot air welding, the top layer can be set in a thin layer of modified asphalt flashing cement that is at least 6 inches wide and approximately 1 8 inch thick. Take care to prevent roof cement from oozing onto exposed areas. If this should occur, sprinkle loose granules on the exposed asphalt immediately. End laps must be overlapped a minimum of 6 inches and be fully adhered. Press each sheet into place with firm, even pressure. Roll edges and all lap seams firmly with a hand roller to ensure full adhesion. After each course is completed, roll the course with an 80 pound roller. Start at the center and work outward to remove trapped air. Care must be taken to prevent injury when rolling, especially on sloped surfaces. For the succeeding course, position the next sheet by completely overlapping the selvage edge of the previous sheet. Remove the side lap salvage edge release film on the area to be overlapped. Remove the release liner and adhere as with the previous sheet. Do not remove the remaining release film covering the side lap salvage edge at this time. The final step in this project is a watertight transition between the low slope system and the sloped roof. Flashing of walls, roof terminations, and penetrations can be done with the deck seal roofing system. The first ply of deck seal should extend at least 10 inches beyond the steep slope transition. If using a ply sheet, extend that ply at least 14 inches beyond the transition. Finally, the deck seal SA SBS cap should extend up the steep slope part of the roof a minimum of 18 inches beyond the transition point. Begin installation of steep slope underlayment 2 inches above the slope transition. The slope roof is now ready to receive shingles. The bottom edge of the first shingle core should be positioned approximately 2 inches above the low slope deck. Starter shingles are required under the first course of shingles. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for application of shingles, step flashing on sidewalls, and appropriate underlayment. That's how easy it is to apply product for a quality residential installation with Dexseal Roofing System. As a category leader, Owens Corning Roofing has applied more than 75 years of building science innovation to Dexseal Roofing System. The Dexseal Roofing System offers a dual compound formulation for durable performance, 
granule free side and end laps for quality sealing, and easy color matching to popular shingle colors for every home to enhance aesthetic appeal. For more information, please visit owenscorning.com slash roofing or call 1-800-GET-PINK.